Hello friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the traditional holiday plant, the poinsettia, or its scientific name, the Euphorbia pulcherima. Yes, it is a euphorbia, and it's indigenous to a region in Mexico where they can bloom during the month of December, creating uh, crimson mountainsides and growing as high as 16 feet, some of them into trees. But we're not going to be getting anything that big for our homes. So I'm going to give you some hints, first of all, on what to look for when getting your poinsettia. First of all, I got mine at Home Depot. I paid $6.98 for each of them. They come in a uh, six or seven inch pot. It's a little bit bigger than a six inch. And what I was looking for were dark green, dense and plentiful foliage, nothing that looked like it was yellowing or falling off. And the um, flowers are actually little tiny cluster of buds in the center of the colored leaves that are known as bracts. So you wanna look at, at those yellow buds and make sure that as many as possible are closed. If they're opening and, and you can see the pollen, that means that the plant is on its way to um, finishing its blooming cycle. Now getting it home from the store, you want to be careful to make sure that it is wrapped up and no cold air hits it because these plants are very sensitive to cold drafts. So you want to make sure that it's wrapped up uh, on its way home. Once you get it home, you want to unpack it. Now caring for it at home, let's take a look at the three important things. First of all, light. Poinsettias need a minimum of six hours of bright but not direct light, no direct sunshine. So put it by a window and um, again, not near a draft or, or anything like that, but six hours of indirect light. And the temperature, you want it to uh, have your home in 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. If it gets below 55, um, and you may have it outside, but you want to bring it if it gets below 55, okay? And finally, water. This plant likes evenly moist soil, that ever-elusive ratio of evenly moist soil. So you want to check it every other day or so, and when the top of the soil becomes dry, you can add some room temperature water to the plant. Allow the water to drain all the way through. Don't ever let it sit in water in that saucer. Once the water is drained through, you want to throw out the water that's in the saucer. Never let uh, it sit in water. If your plant comes with the decorative foil that most of them come in, you can remove that and put it in a decorative container like I did. I happen to have these galvanized buckets available um, from other decorations and they fit perfectly for this size pot. These plants are euphorbias, friends, so remember that they will have a sap to them if you cut them or take off any of the leaves. So you do want to be careful of that sap that can cause irritation to your skin. But the leaves themselves are not poisonous. Um, you would have to eat quite a bit to make them poisonous. Maybe they can cause a little bit of um, stomach discomfort. So if you are worried about your pets, you want to keep them away from your pets. I'm lucky that mine don't bother any of my plants as far as eating them so but that's something good to know if you do have any pets or small children around there you have it friends i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i would so appreciate a thumbs up on it and if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're not uh, gonna miss any of my videos if you do have one of these poinsettias, let me know down in the comments below. Um, you can get them in so many different varieties, and I would love to hear what variety you got, if you got the traditional red, or if you went out of the box a little bit and got some of the um, varied ones that I did. Thanks so much, friends. I appreciate your support. As always, have a blessed day.